Hey, welcome entrepreneurs. This is the house of hail. My name is Lee Haight and I am the wolf of Roof Street, AKA a blue collar closer. I started knocking doors at the age of 14. And if you are attending this meeting, you need to learn the skills that pay the bills, that sales, marketing, and building a personal brand. That's what we're gonna be covering in this video. Now, one thing that makes me a little bit different is I'm just a regular guy, a little bit of an outlier or a renegade. I didn't like my teachers growing up. I fell out of college. And you know, I started at a young age in the door-to-door -door industry. Now, maybe you're a little bit like me and you realize that the skills that pay the bill is the ability to influence without irritating folks. So, you know, I want to tap into, you know, why you are doing what you're doing. We want to get a mission or purpose behind your goals and we want to find out what's holding you back. Remove those objections in this presentation. And a lot of times, you know, you can't grow your business. You can't grow your bank account if you don't have enough opportunities. You need the Glen Gary leads. I'm talking about the hot leads. And solar is one of the best offers online. And so if you are an experienced solar sales rep, somebody new to the business, I'm gonna give you some secrets on digital door knocking. That's when you create videos that sell. And the biggest mistake that I see people do when they make these videos is they don't follow a framework, they don't educate, they don't entertain, and they're not able to actually turn attention into profit, which is what we're, and today is like completely different. Today is the age of the influencer. And in the past, you know, you could manipulate people with psychology, but now they can go online, transparently look at the reviews, look at your sales process. People prefer now a, a much more consultive type sales process where you prescribe the information, you ask the right questions. And so I'm a little bit of a, of a combination of the old school and the new school. So we're gonna be going over the five eyes of the blue collar clothes secondly. And the third thing that we're going to do is we're going to learn how to become a social sales team, how to build a personal brand, what we need to do to grow your reach on Instagram. And, you know, I have nearly a hundred thousand followers on all platforms, certainly not the influencer that some of these big names are, but look, I started from scratch, just a ball headed roofer, 34 years old that decided one day to close Grant Cardone. And that's what I'm going to give you insight on is how you can go from a place where nobody knows you to building your own fame, building your own authority and doing it with a shoestring budget. So first and foremost, we got to talk about the funnel, okay? Because I know you want to close more deals, but the real thing that you want to do is you want to create more leads and we're in a tough market. And so in the past, you know, what you do at Solar is you share the good news that we're redirecting people's power, that we're ending the last monopoly in America, that we're helping give people an end game. Now you want to try and uh, put some of that out there in as many places as possible. So this is Digital Door Knocking 101. You know, you've got your typical ways of D to D, which, you know, hey, how you doing, sir? I'm in the neighborhood. I don't know if you've heard about what's going on. We're redirecting people's pay power payments, saving people money, building out an end game. Have you seen the solar incentives? Do you know what's going on in the neighborhood? There is an epidemic of people overpaying for power. I'm here right now. That's how you stop and get someone's attention. I'm gonna teach you some of my pattern interrupt skills on door to door a little bit later, but that's probably how many of you experienced guys have always got your leads. Next, you have your word of mouth referrals, and those things are great. You know, sitting down at the kitchen table, going through a sales process, walking people through their network. It's an art of maximizing referrals for each customer. I'm gonna give you some modern ways to um, get referrals, some ways to 11 extra referrals in this presentation, but I wanna like expand on this entire sales funnel because most people only know these two ways. Now, this is the most effective way to advertise for profit, and that's maybe how you have found out about this seminar, maybe that's how you watch Jordan Belfort, and that's Facebook. Facebook's still dominant, they own Instagram, and so, Whenever you advertise on Facebook, your videos also can go on Instagram. You can cheaply get in front of somebody for as, as, as cheap as 
one cent per view, and then you can build the audience based on who's viewing your content, you can retarget them, you can convert their interest into a closed deal without even going to their home. I know lots of solar sales professionals that are inking deals, closing deals, without even leaving their home. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about that. We also want to find organic ways that we can use social media. And these are the organic social sales strategies. These are like going into your neighborhood buy, sell, and trade groups, getting recommended by your customers in the Nextdoor app, finding ways to get interactive referral contests through private Facebook groups. We're going to be talking about how you can use video, how you can create more referrals that way. But the internet's broken up between two parts, Facebook and Google. And maybe you're not the one out there that, that is, is creating the Google campaigns. I completely get it. But one way that you can get to the top of Google, one way that you can be an authority in your market is YouTube. And if you create videos on YouTube that educate a homeowner about solar, that educate a homeowner about how they can save money monthly, why they make our world a better place, why they get tax incentives and add property value at the same time. What can happen is, is that when people go to Google solar, without you even having to pay a dollar, you can come up as an expert and you can pre-sell a customer just from a YouTube video. So, what we want to do is we want to teach you how to how to how to spread your 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 leads mechanism because door to door has took a hit a little bit with these tough market conditions with everybody in their stay at home orders and so we're going to be extracting referrals we're going to create video content and we're going to cover all this in my quick digital door knocking masterclass that's t secret number 1 how do you digitally door knock all right, guys, we're getting into the digital door knocking and it's story time. Yes, I got action figures, superheroes, and I want y'all to take your pen and paper right down and I want you to write down one word and that word is end game. I don't know if you've seen the new Marvel movie, it's about a year old, it's called Endgame, and that's exactly what we're giving people when we give them solar. We're giving them freedom from America's last monopoly. We're saving them from overpaid rising power costs, and we're giving them access to tax incentives, free money, while they add property value to their home. We're giving them an end game. And so um, what we have to think about a little bit is an analogy, and I want you to think about these current market conditions I've got something for you. The Infinity Stones, you see this right here, this is actually what saved the universe. And I'm gonna give you an opportunity to save your own universe by learning how to sell on video because of tough market conditions. You are trapped. You can't do what you used to do. You gotta learn how to digitally door knock. And what this reminds me of is a part of this movie where Thanos, he grabs all of these infinity stones and he has the power. And once you have that power, what Thanos does is he eliminates half of the universe. And it's really, really ironic how this pandemic is causing people to have fear, to stay in their homes. It's ending some people's door to door sales campaigns, and it's the modern sales systems that are going to protect you. And I will tell you what they did here in the movie Endgame is they came up with a plan. And I'm going to go over my master plan real quick. Now, my master plan for you starts with digital door knocking, okay? And we call this the... Um, in my line of work and roofing, we call it hidden damage epidemic, but let's call it overpaid power epidemic. There is an epidemic of rising energy costs, and this is a monopoly that you have no control against. So what we're trying to do is, is like the villain here, the evil guy, Thanos, he's the energy company that doesn't give people an option. And what our job is to do is really, really talk to their most important detail in our video, which is their monthly expense. And if you can help them, you know, get money back from their taxes, if you can help them save monthly, you have to realize a lot of people are living paycheck to paycheck and that little money is very, very important to them. So the first video that we create, and here's our system, here's your home, you sell the home, you got solar panels on the home, it's looking great. Now you gotta sell the neighbors, and what we wanna do typically is knock on the door, but with 
uh, our new found skill set, we can actually, you know, draw a one to two mile radius around the neighborhood and we can send a video out about overpaid energy. And I can say something like this, hey, there's an epidemic of homeowners that are facing overpaying for energy costs. And we are right now helping a selective few group of people install solar, save money for no money down. And we're also doing something that nobody else does. We're including the installation, an inverter, and even a solar pack for 50% off. Now, one of the biggest misconceptions about solar is that it costs a lot of money. That's not exactly true. Uh, what we're actually doing is redirecting your power payment and you're instantly saving money with many of the other people in your neighborhood. That's why I made this video to make sure you don't get left out on this epidemic of people overpaying for energy. If your neighbors are creating their own energy, if they're able to save money monthly, if they're able to add property value, Aren't you curious about this? Look, click the link below. We'll give you a free inspection on the solar process. And just for going through the process, we'll give you a $200 Visa gift card just for going through the process. So get your free solar evaluation and $200 gift card to go right through the process. So that's a video ad. And it's, an, and it's an effective ad, but essentially what we're doing is we're talking about that end game in our video ads, but we're actually grabbing their biggest fear, which is paying too much for power, all right? What's the second video that y'all should create if you wanna create tons of leads with solar? Well, we call it the build video or the install video. And what that means is the best way for you to get leads is to demonstrate your value in the neighborhood. When you're installing solar, they can see the same trees, they can see the same style of home, they can see your guys installing solar, they can see the quality of the build. What you have to explain is that the customer is saving money right off the rip, that they have an end game, that they're adding value to their homes, that they're literally getting away from America's last monopoly, and then you explain how solar works. Because people that are interested, they wanna know more. So you bait them in with that hook, and then you start talking about the different parts of the solar roofing project. Whether you're putting a battery, whether you explain how the inverter works, and you explain how the panels work and how much energy it produces. Look, I'm not the expert when it comes to solar, but I can sell ice to an Eskimo, and I can tell you what people care about. They care about unnecessary home expense, and if they're overpaying for power, it's a damn shame, all right? So what we're doing is we're ending this epidemic. We're showing that we can install a better quality solar product than anybody in America, and when you're doing the installation and that's going on in the background movement attracts attention so creating this build video will help you because not only did you get their attention with the epidemic of overpaid energy but now they see the video of you installing and that's like whenever someone follows up with you in your news feed it's easy to set up it's called retargeting okay now the third thing that you need to do is called the testimonial video now this is a quick segment and we're not going to go into that much detail and if you are liking what you're hearing you need to copy of my new book it's called contracting growth secrets we call these three videos the holy trinity of video ads because it's literally like the god particle when they make it rain leads when they start retargeting each other i go over it in about chapter uh, the last chapter of the book because it's the coolest part and i gave you you know the last chapter of the book because i wanted to give you the end game once you create these videos you will be able to create unlimited leads on demand and your face will be like all through the neighborhood because the cool thing about facebook is it makes you the authority and like I said you can get your video out for as low as one cent per view so even if they don't buy from you you're in their news feed they're thinking about you you're imposing your will and and when I think about imposing your will I think about this guy but if you think about this guy what he did he joined forces with all the other superheroes and that's what you're doing when you implement this strategy to beat this pandemic because there's been a lot of blue collar contractors that I've run ads with two million dollars I've spent and I find that this third video this testimonial video is the closer and uh, Iron Man is the closer who saves the world in this testimonial this testimonial will save your world in times like this and what you need to do right now is you need to go back to your customers you need to get them on a zoom call and you need to ask them these four questions what were you most afraid of when buying solar what did you like most about the process what were you most surprised about about suntuity and the fourth and most important question is what do you have to say to your neighbors thinking about going solar see you can record this on zoom you can go to their customers house with practicing social distancing, 
use your iPhone like a weapon, capture the video there. You see, people buy on the internet when emotion is greater than the resistance. So a good testimonial, what I see the biggest problem is is that people don't frame it right. Remember, nobody's on the internet to buy solar panels. So what you have to do is you have to make it about the epidemic of overpaying for energy, the epidemic of homeowners not having an end game for power. And you talk about redirecting their payments, saving them money with zero money down. In your video ad, you say, don't just take it from me, take it from someone inside the Royal Harbor neighborhood of what it's like to do business with RCA Solar. And then they say, hey, I was afraid about spending the money on solar, but they showed me how I would actually save in the first month. They also showed me the consequence of rising power costs and how I could access tax credits and add property value. And I will tell you, I was a little afraid of the cost, but I was surprised with the quality of the installation. I was surprised with the actual amount of power that was created. And now I would have to say to anyone thinking about buying this, you'd be crazy not to be evaluated for solar. You'd be crazy not to save money monthly. You'd be crazy not to add property property value. And so you heard it right there from your neighbor in the Royal Harbor subdivision. Click the link below. We'll give you a free solar evaluation. So you wanted some video training on digital door knocking. Um, the old school yes is door to door. The old school yes is word of mouth referrals. But Suntuity is about actually these modern sales systems. And if you want to be like Iron Man and you want to protect the human race, then you better get good at these three videos. And the overpaid energy video, the build video, the test testimonial video, maybe something that you're thinking, I'm new to this, Lee. This sounds cool. I'd love to execute this and sell it online. I will tell you, you're incredibly lucky to be hooked up with Suntuity. Solar is the best offer online. It has been proven uh, if you can save people money or get money back on their taxes to be recession proof. And this is the right time to be in the solar business. Suntuity is a great partner because they offer roofing too. And your end game as a blue collar entrepreneur should be, how do I jump in this vehicle and get known? Because you know how, why people aren't gonna buy from you? Because people don't know who you are. And I learned that from Grant Cardone. Now, I had this idea, this big idea, that I would wake up, I would close Grant Cardone on a roof, I walked into his house, and I'm gonna tell you about exactly what it was like the day that I closed the master closer on a $1.3 million job on the next secret, the five eyes of the blue collar close. All right, guys, now we're gonna talk about the skills that pay the bills, and these are modern ways to influence. Now, I'm a little different than your typical white collar sales trainer. I'm a blue collar guy. I've knocked on 50,000 doors. I fix big problems for big paychecks. I sit at kitchen tables and make friends until I leave with the ink, and I'm gonna show you how to influence without irritating. I'm gonna give you my five eyes of the blue collar close. I'm gonna talk to you about how I closed Grant Cardone and how that created a mass movement and how you can can close any deal, any person, anytime if you just use my strategy. So let's get this thing started right now. Um, many of you have to find out why you're doing this. Now you have to uh, understand that these tough market conditions are not your fault. Um, just because maybe you, know, you took that safer job, now you understand the value of potentially being able to control your own income, to sell, and maybe you're in some other business. Like I have a good friend that uh, sells for the Marlins. He was offering me a suite one day, trying to sell me a big package. And the next day I'm telling him, hey, you need to come work in an essential industry like solar and roofing. And so um, I don't know why you're here, but I know one thing, that if I can teach you how to have confidence, if I can give you a purpose, if I can help you tap into that higher power that if you can practice my tactics that no one will beat you and starts with the mindset. The first is, you know, I'll take it from my man Grant Cardone. I'm gonna tell you about this story, okay? Um, it was about five years ago and, and at that time I was uh, an eight figure business owner. I was pretty successful in life, but I was looking for big things. And my uncle, he tragically passed away. Now, uh, my uncle was my idol in business. He'd made tons of money and you know, it was a very, very sad day because honestly, no one was expecting it, but I looked at, his, at, his, at the people that showed up in his funeral and I looked at the impact and how much he taught them on how to provide for themselves. And I realized from that day that I needed a higher purpose. I needed to go for something big. I needed to get more people to know me so I could get more business. And I wanted to be the authority in roofing. I wanted to be the authority. And so what did I do? I decided to reach out to my idol, my friend, Grant Cardone, because I felt like he was my friend. I'd watched him on 
ton of videos, and uh, I'm gonna break down how I closed Grant Cardone, okay? First and foremost, it started with belief. You deserve to go after big deals. You deserve big multi-million dollar jobs as far as houses with big solar jobs or roofs. You deserve to sell in the best neighborhoods. But to close Grant Cardone, it started with intention. And you know, one thing that Grant says is you gotta think big. And so the 10X rule is more about setting your goals 10X higher than they need to be because it's 10X harder than you think to get stuff done. And so um, it was very, very 10, 10 times harder to actually close him. But I reached out to him. And I, and I said, uh, let's call Grant Cardone's office. Ding, 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 ding. Uh, sure enough, as soon as I called them on the phone, they closed me. They closed me on a $4,000 a month coaching package. And, you know, I remember going back to my business partners thinking, whoa, man, I made this huge commitment. And the truth was is that sometimes you have to put your money where your mouth is. You pay attention to what you pay for. And if you are uh, never invested in your own personal development, you've never had a coach or a mentor, then I can tell you that you know there's a different level of connection of, of, of actual application when you invest into a resource. And so um, I actually wanna give you a free book. It's called Contract and Grow Secrets. You can get all these secrets on closing, on marketing, contractandgrowsecrets.com. But my intention is to be a mentor for you and, and help change your life. And so uh, when I, whenever I reached out to Grant Cardone, they took my money. But then I had to go even more all in. I had to stay in the deal. And what does that mean? That means that as long as they'll take your phone calls, as long as they call you a friend, that you have a shot at closing the deal. And it's your job to make a friend, to find the creative pursuit angle, and that's exactly what I did. I showed up at his office, I tracked down all of his apartments and cross-referenced some different storm dates. And you know what we do is we get the insurance companies to pay to replace roofs. So I was able to find a property that had storm damage and and I went to that property without his permission, really, uh, and, and took pictures and then showed up at his office. Like, that's ballsy, right? No, that's what you call initiative. And a man that uh, is, is a mover and a shaker respects stuff like that. So, you know, sometimes you have to outsnob the snobs. And, you know, when I showed up to Grant's office, he walked past me four or five times. I said, hey, hey, what's up, man? You know, I'm here, I, I went to your apartment and he just ignored me. He knew what I was, he knew who I was, but he made me work for it. And as a matter of fact, uh, I had to invest again on another deal. And so at this time I'm paying not, Grant nine grand a month. But the truth was is that when I walk you through the five eyes of the blue collar clothes, this is what I gave to him and I, I recorded the whole thing. It's not a hard way to sell. It's actually a real easy way to sell. I'm gonna go over it. But he said yes, he shook my hand, we filmed it. And we did a $1.3 million project. Um, it was $2 million in, in, in value, and, and Grant's the toughest negotiator in the world, let me tell you something. So, you know, when it comes to doing business with, with, with top level guys, you should realize that your skill set gets more powerful when you go toe to toe with a Muhammad Ali negotiation type. So, don't be afraid of someone who's gonna bust your balls a little bit, it'll make you better in the future. Um, so, let me go over the five eyes of the blue collar clothes so that you understand how this all works, okay? It starts with uh, the interruption. Like, you have to stop people in there, and I call this the pump fake. Let's say I'm, I'm right here, and I'm putting solar panels on this home. I'm replacing the roof of this home, and there's a street right here, and there's a yard sign right here on my home. Guess where I'm standing when people drive by? Guess where I'm standing? I'm standing, here's the car that's driving by, all right, and maybe that's a truck with a lifted wheel. I'm standing right here and I'm doing what's called the pump fake. I'm actually standing in front of my build, I'm stopping them, I'm looking for eye contact because I'm looking for an opportunity because I can point, I can demonstrate the value. I can say we re redirected his power payment, we added property value, we saved him money on his first month with his power bill. We were able to give him tax credits that were able to you know, give him money back during times of cash. We have to interrupt people's attention. Do you know about the epidemic of overpaid power in your neighborhood? Do you know about the benefit of going solar? Has anyone talked to you about solar? Why haven't you had anyone talk to you about solar? And that's typically how I stop people. I call it um, the ultimate pitch. It's because you assume the sale, you treat them like you are an authority, and you stop 
everybody that you come across. And so the sales rep that is not making 50 to 100 new contacts a day, you know, they don't have the work ethic that makes them, you know, those high paid guys. You wanna know why those guys are high paid? It's the volume. You wanna know how those guys are great? It's the frequency of which they operate. It's the frequency of which they interrupt people. So stop right there and get enthusiastic if you're gonna be enthusiastic. If you're gonna go into the neighborhood, be serious about the intensity. Be sold on your product and service and be willing to interrupt people, knock on their doors. If you wanna talk about how we knock on the door in a tough time, let me give you an example about how we knock during a pandemic. You wanna know how we knock on a pandemic? Hey, how you doing? What's going on? No, I'm not here to bother you. It's a little bit more selective. We're here because of the epidemic of overpaid power bills. We're essential. We're a part of the energy infrastructure. Look. I wanna go over something with you, but it, we can go through FaceTime if you're uncomfortable. Uh, we've taken care of everybody in the neighborhood. No, I'm not here to sell you anything. It's a little bit more selective than that. Um, I'm actually here to save you money from month one, give you access to potentially money back from the government, free money from the government, add value, and give you an end game in regards to your power. Are you aware of America's last monopoly? Are you aware that you're a victim to America's last monopoly? See, that's an interruption. And so when I go door to door, when I step back, when I offer instantly to FaceTime them, when I sidestep their it's a pandemic, don't go door to door objection with, we're a little bit more selective than that, we've had a lot of inquiries in the neighborhood, then I interrupt their attention. And it's these you know, other sales trainers that never went door to door, never got their hands dirty, never got punched in the face in the neighborhood that just can't relate to the way in which we generate leads, which I can tell you one thing, using a telephone, I've closed lots of deals on the telephone, is not as good as selling in the neighborhood because you have physical advantage. You can, you can literally, with your nice car, with your nice appearance, with your strong voice, stop people and get them to pay attention. So the key to interrupt people, look them in the eye. Point your heart at their heart. Be authoritative. Have an investigator approach. Talk about you know, this epidemic and treat, treat it like 100% seriousness. We're taking care of everybody in the neighborhood and it's almost like they should know who you are. Number two. Okay, this is probably the most important step to the sales process and it's called investigate. You must ask the right questions and the most important question in sales is why. You know, what's going on? Have you heard about this? Why haven't you had redirected your power payment? Why, ha why are you still suffering from America's last monopoly? And you find out basically what's going on, what their dominant buying motive is. And some people are motivated for different things. They're motivated because they, they wanna be the smart homeowner in the neighborhood that tells everybody how much money they save on solar. They're mo motivated by you know, the fact that they, they wanna really grow their income. So they see that adding property value, saving money monthly is a way to grow their income. Maybe they just wanna change. Maybe they just wanna change from the regular power company. They want options. If they're like me, I like doing different stuff. Different stuff means like exciting, adrenaline rush. Those type of people, they may just go so solar just because they're sick and tired of the power company and they want to change. So when you're asking questions, you're trying to find out what is the dominant buying motive? So what's your biggest concern here? What's your biggest problem with your power bill? What's your biggest problem with redirecting your power payment? What's your biggest challenge? And look, I know you're not interested, but why? Why is it that you're not interested? Is it because that I knocked on your door? Is it because that you don't think that this is going to save you money in the long run? Or is it because that you, what, half of what I'm saying is not true? So now you get to the real objection. And so this is one thing that really differentiates me when it comes to selling in the home. And that's the third step of my process, which is invest. And with solar, it's really important that you realize that you gotta give them a written proposal. And a lot of times solar is best done because you wanna figure out how much you're gonna make on the commission in a two-step sell. And so the way it works is you get them all warmed up, you get them qualified, you get a copy of their power bill. And then instead of doing all that math in front of them, you go and, and you're a very busy guy, you're in high demand, you have other appointments, and you go calculate the deal and bring it back. And when you bring it back and you have the engineered specs, when you have pictures, when you have a report, then you sit down between the first appointment and the second, you spend an hour with the customer, you go through the value proposition of your company, you go through sitting down with, their, with, with them and breaking bread. Like, you know, it's hot out there. You got any water? You know, people grab 
water for you, they're probably gonna follow instructions when you ask for permission to get the contract. So the fourth step of the process, it comes directly from the Wolf of Wall Street himself. He's gonna be talking to you specifically about the straight line persuasion system, but I, I truly believe that in the fourth step of the sales process, that adding certainty is the only thing that you need to do. And so he'll talk to you a little bit about you, your company, and your process, but I wanna tell you one thing, it really works. And every single objection you hear is gonna be based off of one of these things. Either you haven't done a good enough job explaining Intuity. You haven't done a good enough job explaining you, or you don't explain how the solar process works, how the tax credit works, how net metering works, how all these things add up to avoid homeowner expense, adding property value, and upgrading curb appeal and property value. So listen here. Every time that you hear an objection, it lies within you, your company, and your process. Instilling certainty is a process. Every time that they tell you no, it's a reason. You find out the reason by going back to step two. It's one of the things that, I don't know if Jordan always clarifies, but step two is more important than step three because if you don't listen, you don't really find out what their buying motive is, what their biggest problem is, so it's not the words that you say as much as what, what you listen to here, people, and actively listen. And one of the things that Grant taught me, and this is the fifth step, and that's gonna be ink the deal, is you, 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 in order to make an agreement, you gotta be agreeable. And so I used to think that you needed to win the argument. Like, yes, you're an advocate for solar, but if somebody says, you know, that, you know, look, Solar is actually, you know, uh, bad for the economy. And you know what you do? You say, look, I agree 100%. You know, what's bad for the economy might be good for you. Uh, the elite out there, the ruling class, they've been making profits off of this energy all the time. And, you know, it's probably not good for the economy, but what it is good for is the world, your pocketbook, and your property value. So let's keep it moving forward. So asking for the deal at least six times, look, that's how you basically, every time someone says no, they, they and a lot of times if they bring up new different types of objections, like I need to talk to my wife, I need three bids, I have another guy coming, I need to think about it. What they're doing is they're bouncing from objection to objection, and they really don't have a true objection. Now, if they say the same thing over and over, like I need to talk to my wife, I need to talk to my wife, I don't make decisions, I need to talk to my wife, then you probably are getting the real story. But this is really where you need to know the closes. And if someone asked me if they need to talk to my wife, I'd say, hey, what do you think your wife's gonna say? What do you think if the wife says no? Is it gonna be because of the price? Is it gonna be because she doesn't think solar's cool, maybe she's Republican and she's, she's not for all these things? Or, or is it just because I knocked on your door that you wouldn't consider this? Like, what do you think the biggest thing she would be opposed to? Oh, it's the price? Well, what if I could roll you into this for zero money down and instantly save you money? Now, you are the one that makes the money, you are the one that makes the bread, right? And if this business decision benefits your house, your wife will trust you as if it was the business decision, right? Well, this is how much money you save, this is what you're gonna earn month one, this is the value that you'll add, these are the tax credits you'll get. You think your wife will appreciate when that tax return check comes in and it's $8,000 bigger? Okay, go ahead and give me the okay. Let's go ahead and get the process started. No, I understand that you need to talk with her, but you know, maybe we talk with her right now, get her on the phone. Let me, ha let me have the phone, I'll answer any questions she may have. I keep asking for the deal because that's how you show your confidence and a sell is made when confidence is transferred and if you don't ask for the deal at least six times, then people don't know you want it. So let me tell you, I want you to get my book because in my book I go through the five eyes of the blue collar clothes and I want you to do it right now. So go on your phone, go to contractinggrowsecrets.com. It's free plus shipping. All you do is cover shipping. I think it's the third chapter. No, right here. Uh, it's page 29, the five eyes of the blue collar clothes. We go through all the dominant buying motives here. Let's see, dominant buying motive number one, the investment. Buying motive number two, aesthetics. Buying motive number two, four, quality of pride. Number five, connections. And once you really understand those and you really know how this step works, the Wolf of Wall Street focuses on how to instill certainty. The honey badger focuses on how to ask questions. And that's how you, you know, close like an attorney, close like a CIA investigator, close like a consultant, like a doctor. And that's the modern way to close. That's how you do it without pissing people off. And if you want like a real guy who has stood behind every job he's ever done and is out there in the streets getting it done, 
get my book, contractandgrowsecrets.com. I can't wait to be your guide. On to the next step about building your personal brand, growing your social media following, because it's not just about sales, it's not just about marketing, it's about your presence, it's about your brand, and I'm gonna show you how to do that in the next part. All right, guys, I wanna give you some secret cheat codes to build your influence online, and I wanna show you one of the oldest tricks in the book for selling without selling. They're really high closable deals, and it's from my man, uh, Chet Holmes, one of the most impactful books I've ever read, The Ultimate Sales Machine, and uh, it's actually called The Dream 100 Strategy, and so I wanna talk to you a little bit about it right now. Okay, so it's called the Dream 100 strategy because really the game of influence, the best way to actually be presented to someone as an expert is by their friends, it's by somebody else. So what I want you to do is think about your community. Who is actively working with newer homeowners? Think about your perfect ideal client. Maybe you're new and you don't really understand exactly what your ideal client in solar looks like, but let me help you paint that picture. They're homeowners that come into a new house, they got a new mortgage, and they have a new monthly payment on that uh, energy bill. And so with that new house, they're thinking about property value, they're excited and they're proud of their home. They want to save money on their power bill Bill and start an end game. And so these guys could be related to realtors in areas that you see where you're trying to work. You see a, a realtor out there, you can write his name down. These guys could be home builders. These home builders can put you on to immediately these guys that buy these new homes. Or you could be talking about maybe an insurance agent who is constantly dealing with people with roof issues or potentially someone who knows a lot of people at a church or a social community. Dream 100 people are influencers. They're people that know people. And that's what we call a hub of leads. And so what you have to do is you have to reach out to them with pig-headed persistence and you have to offer them a service that can't be refused. And so what we like to do is we like to play a game that where we turn our referrals into royalties and we call it referralty. And this is how it works, okay? There's an app out there. It's really cool for the solar network. It's, a, it's an app that I use. It's called the Get the Referral app. And this allows me to basically send out a code, get reviews, and let my customers develop points that can be exchanged for gift cards or trips. And so um, this app is really cool, but the concept is important. It's that you reach out to people and you say, hey, look, I care a lot about the world. I care a lot about ending the last monopoly on that world and helping people get an end game, saving people money. There's a lot of people living paycheck to paycheck. And you know, there's a lot of people that are, that are right now needing to save every dollar that they can. So you reach out to the influencer and you say, hey, look, for every install that we get, we're gonna give you $200 Visa gift card. And you know, the thing about this is, is that we save everybody money, that we're able to add property value, that they're able to own their own power. And not only that, we're making the world a better place. These energy companies, they aren't good. They don't do anything good for the world. We're reducing the carbon footprint. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and um, you know, get me a list and you reach out to the people on that list. Anybody that comes off of that list, we're gonna provide you a referral commission on. And who are the top people that you're thinking of right now? So extracting referrals in that way. And you know, when you find you know, people that will uh, take your business card, take your information, uh, you think, okay, well, that's a great way to share information, but what is the better way to do it? And the better way to do it is the new age uh, business card. And what is that? That's your social media footprint. That is the modern day business card. And so what you have to do is when those referral partners check you out, when those recruits check you out, when those homeowners check out, you wanna create a, a brand and you wanna create something that not only is gonna bring you new customers, is gonna bring you referral partners, but it's gonna help you land any homeowners, uh, referral partners or recruits that you have. So I would start, okay, with Facebook, okay? You have a Facebook and with Facebook, I mean, it's really, really simple. Facebook and Instagram together, you can almost use this same formula. What I want you to do is I want you to take your five biggest interests, and let me just go through my biggest interests, okay? Uh, faith, family, um, fortune, uh, I like uh, uh, marketing, I like sales, okay? 
These are the things that I like to talk about. Fortune in the real estate, family in the fun stuff, faith in the higher power. And so I like to rotate between my Facebook posts between business, family, faith, fortune, marketing, sales. And what that does is it keeps you know, your newsfeed uh, new. It keeps it fresh. It's not singularity of purpose. And with Facebook, you know, the one thing that I can tell you is, is that you know, uh, there's a lot of different ways that you can use groups. Groups are the best way for you to share your videos into. And if you just think about what somebody from a buy, sell, trade, might be most interested in. It's how maybe a lease option works when you have bad credit and they can save money on their power bill. Do a video on that. Drop it into a buy, sell, and trade group with a really weak, kind of at the end, soft call to action. And you'll find you'll build value, you'll build real following between people that you want, and you might be able to sell some roofs just by organically spamming video ads in different groups. Now, to grow your following, you know, you gotta create quality content. One way you can do that is, is finding your voice on Facebook Live. I challenge you to go on Facebook Live. You can start, you know, like a podcast where you're interviewing people. On Instagram, you gotta learn how to use hashtags and um, you really wanna follow that same five-part framework where you're making interesting pictures, but now Instagram has really gone to video content and the video content needs to have what we call a hook, a story, and an offer. So if you wanna do a, a little cheat code right now, you can Google 100 best headlines. These things are tested by my man Jay Abraham and you can look at all these different headlines and you can like come up with different ways to include these headlines in your Instagram posts and what that will do is hook people's attention. Now, the second part about that is you need to tell a story and the third part about that is, hey, comment below, subscribe, engage, answer the questions. See, with Facebook and Instagram, it's all about engagement. And the more that you're asking other people to comment, to share, you're holding contests, the more that you're gonna get growth. And using the right hashtags is important, but it's just as important, you know, getting out of that selfish brain of yours and start getting other people involved in the conversation. Now, as far as video goes, I believe that everybody should place their videos on YouTube first. And YouTube is more of the long form video content. Now, the cool thing about YouTube is if you create videos about a solar and about roofing and it's for a homeowner and you tag it correctly, then it can come up to the top of Google when people search. And not only that, you know, as you get more subscribers, as you get more views, you get more data. And what YouTube will do is it will actually tell you Different, it will, what YouTube will do is it will actually tell you different areas of your video that people find extremely interesting. And what that means is they'll rewind the video and you'll actually see a spike in audience retention in the back end of YouTube in the studio section and the, the uh, audience retention part. And that's those little sections you can take out of YouTube, you can drop into Instagram, you can drop into Facebook, but YouTube is the major leagues of social media. So start now because it's the one that's most attached to Google. It's the one that when someone searches is most likely to uh, be for a homeowner. And look, you can make YouTube videos as follow-up to any customers that you're trying to sell. And what that does is it really makes you the authority, helps close deals, increases your closing percentage. And so um, I would say that the next one that you really need to use is LinkedIn. And LinkedIn's new platform has really, uh, really shown love towards the video content, has moved it towards more of a regular social media content. And being that there's uh, a lot of business owners out there, you know, if you ever get into commercial solar, and the fact that people uh, that are in business usually have nice big homes, you know, the tax credits are a big deal. And so people that care most about the tax credits are the business owners. So if you're on LinkedIn, then you can kind of write your blogs, make your videos, and then generate leads just off of, you know, some of the content that you create. But the point is, is that you want to be everywhere. You want to be omnipresent. And, you know, that's what I started doing about four and a half years ago when I closed Grant Cardone on. And I can tell you, like, the way that you really grow your social media is you find a way to use paid advertisement. And, you know, the truth is, is like, if you go to contractinggrowsecrets.com,
www.jeffcoachingcoaching.com, you'll see a copy of my book, but the video that I have advertising on that page has got close to 300,000 views on YouTube right now, and that's because I have a successful funnel attached for it. That means every time that I advertise $1 in, I get $1 back. It's a break-even sales funnel, and what that allows me to do is grow my vision, grow my impact, grow my audience, and really I'm getting other people to pay for it. So if you can write a book and you can sell it for a small amount of money, then you can wash your ad spend in building your content. And so you may say, Lee, you know, I have a small budget to do this, 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 this growth, this personal development growth, this personal branding growth, and I will say, look, you don't need a huge budget. You know, with consistency, if you post three videos a day on YouTube, 10 minutes a day, find the highlighted points, get three or four Instagram posts a week, three or four Facebook posts a week, three or four posts on LinkedIn a week, by the time you're three months into it, you're really gonna see some traction, okay? And if you decide to, basically promote the posts that are getting the most engagement, then you let the algorithm tell to you, you know, the ones that have the best hook, have the best story, are the most interesting. And this digital business card, it helps you recruit the right people, it helps you close commercial deals. When when I close Grant, don't you think he went and looked me up on my social media and found out if our core values aligned? I think so. And so I can tell you right now that today is your day to start learning how to build your brand. And I was just like you, starting from scratch. And you know, about five years ago, I had no followers really on any of the uh, social media platforms. And so you know, my projection is to be bigger than the biggest guys in the market because I believe that if one man can do it, so can I. And that's what you should take from this. I'm just a regular guy and you know the truth is is that if you want to evolve past these tough market conditions you have to implement a sales system you have to learn these ways to create your own leads you have to build your own brand it doesn't matter if you're experienced brand new or you've been in the game for a little bit of while this is the modern day business card so once you start building your following, you know you can do things like swipe up on Instagram, you can do things like get paid uh, for sponsorships on YouTube, you can do things like advertise for profit and get famous off of other people's dollars, and you know that's really the secret behind it all. You wanna know how Ty Lopez blow up? Well, he sold a course for like $67, he had his Lambos in the back, that, that video got millions of views and a whole personal brand platform was built after he spent a million dollars a week on YouTube. Now, you may not know that, but if you wanna play the game with the big boys, you can. If I can do it, you can do it. And let me tell you something, I know more about sales funnels, advertising for profit, than some of these old sales trainers that you might hear on all over these social media platforms. Look, I'm 34 years old, and you can learn these things because I'm just a ball-headed roofer, man. So maybe you're a generation Y, maybe you're somebody who's really good with computers and video games. Maybe you're a master copywriter, great at video sales. Maybe you can put it together better than me. But I know one thing, now is the time to be in the solar and roofing and reconstruction industry. SunTuity provides an incredible vehicle for success. I'm incredibly excited to be able to present to you today. And it's about taking action and applying my information and, and putting yourself out there. You know what the biggest thing about this journey When I started, I didn't have enough haters. I didn't have enough people talking trash about me. I cared about too much about what other people thought, so I didn't build the brand. And I realized that when I first started going, I got a lot of hate, a lot of people telling me, you you know, you're a fraud, you're a scam, you hadn't really done those things. And you know what? The truth is, is that that pushed me, they made me better, and before, um, I was basically, listening to what other people said and it was costing me money. It was like I was taking money out of my pocket and giving it to my haters. And I don't want you to do that. I want you to post every day. I want you to build a brand. If you just started on YouTube five years ago, you could have had hundreds of thousands of followers now. This is a digital real estate. This is what you're building. Becoming omnipresent means that people will know you. They will flow you. And I gotta say right now, that all the secrets to my sales and marketing systems are inside of my book. I wrote this book as my first book. I'm busy running a a business. What's different about me than all these other gurus is 
I have my own contracting business. We're out there really in the streets, um, knocking on doors, closing at the kitchen table, advertising on Facebook. I'm running advertisements for more than 60 different companies. But I want you to have all of our secrets. So click the link at contractinggrowsecrets.com. Get your copy of my new book. Look, lay it all on the table. There, you have two options. You're either coming out of this pandemic stronger than you were before, or you're going to be smaller than you were before. You're either going to expand or you're going to contract. You're either going to reach your potential or you're going to stand over your dead body and you're going to say that you didn't do what you were supposed to do at heaven's pearly gates. And I don't want that to be you. I want you to be the guy that let it all on the line, that made your family proud, that moved it on to the next generation, that didn't have the wrong kind of paycheck to paycheck poverty image that was left on this world, you deserve better than that. You deserve the blue collar American dream. You deserve real wealth. And that's what's inside of this book, The Secrets to Build It. Go to contractinggrowsecrets.com. I want to thank Suntuity. Thank Jordan Belfort. The Way of the Wolf, that book was a great influencer in my line. You know, I learned from all these guys and I learned from my experience. I'm a combination of Russell Brunson, Jordan, Grant Cardone, and the 10,000 kitchen tables I set at. I hope you've enjoyed this PowerPoint presentation. You can subscribe to me on YouTube. Find me on Instagram at Lee underscore hate, H-A-I-G-H-T. Look me up on Facebook. Make me your friend. We're going to be doing some incredible stuff. There's a digital door knocking challenge. I challenge you. If you're one of the few, if you're one of the proud and you want to create leads online, you want your own sales funnel, you want real freedom with people lining up to do business with you and you want to pay for it on your own dime and control the whole process, take my digital door knocking challenge. 14 days. I'll give you videos, one video a day, and I'll do it for like less than, you know, literally that you can go to, uh, you know, a, a, a baseball game for. So what I want you to do is get my book, take the digital door knocking challenge. This is how you stay safe when door to door is a little bit uh, dead. And this is what you do to evolve in the face of a new world. Modern sales system will, cr will cure all woes. Thank you for letting me speak, Suntuity. I'm incredibly grateful to be your guide. And until next time, over and out. Lee Haight, Blue Collar Millions, waiting on you, baby. Here we go.